high school physics students are stepping outside the everyday lesson and making a difference in the community. The students are using 3D printing to help kids who are living with disabilities. Tunis reporter Ethan Fitzgerald shows us what is working in the Miami Valley tonight. Mark, Katie, physics students at Cedar Cliff High School are not only working for a grade, but they're also working to change lives. They're creating custom tools that help others with day to day tasks that we sometimes take for granted. There you go. There it is. Boom. Meet Jordan. This important moment was captured by Cedar Cliff teachers as Jordan is able to complete a task that everyday people take for granted using a fork, something that has never been easy for Jordan. Good job. Jordan is using a special apparatus that makes holding utensils easier. While many of these tools exist, there are a few custom options available. Now that's where students at Cedar Cliff High School come in. He couldn't quite, um, like his grip wasn't strong enough to like hold something large. Through trial and error, the students have something, more importantly, someone to work for. And we took out the finger grooves and we made it a lot longer for him. The students first designed the tools with high tech computer modeling, then send the blueprints to the 3D printer. Our uh, advanced engineering teacher, Mr. Rogers, who uh, he said he, had, he knew someone who had a problem. He's like, hey, do you guys want, do you guys want to do this? Will you take it seriously? And Crossman says the hands on work is fun, but the purpose of the class is to help those in need. It's nice to know that, like, you know, we're working to make a difference and that people are noticing and like joining in and helping. In the past, I've noticed there's a lot of theoretical work, a lot of book work, and I'd like to transition or I wanted to transition my classroom into something that was more applicable. So how do we use this information, truly use this information, not just to solve a problem on a piece of paper, but in real life, solve a real problem in society, in our, in our community. Teachers say the work isn't done just yet, and they plan to soon dive into robotics. Visit WDTN.com to see the work that Cedar Cliff students have put into making their community a better place. Ethan Fitzgerald, 2 News, working for you.